Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare a deer mask. Uh, you need a doe deer because then you don't have to contend with the antlers. So we turn this around and you need a very sharp knife. So just start to cut. You want to take as much as the flesh off the skin as you can as you go. Let's get that out of the way. Now you also don't need the skin on the under jaw, on the lower jaw. So what we do is we make a cut across here and a cut across here because we only want the top part like a hair's mask. So we just carry on for now removing the skin around the skull. Okay then once you've removed the skin from the skull and got down to the ears on each side you can go forward and you put your knife in the mouth and you should always cut with the hair. So put your knife in the mouth and go up. And out. So you make that cut there. Then we can carry on using the knife to free up the skin. You must be careful when you come to the eye sockets so just keep going with everything until you come to the ears and the eye sockets. So we'll turn it around, we we'll do the other side, so we just carry on carefully and it's really important that you keep your knife sharp, nothing bluntens a knife like skinning. So we just carry on going around the nose. Lift that up. There we go. And just work our way back. And then when you come to the eye socket. Follow the eye socket round. Make a little cut. Same on the other side. we got. Around the whole eye socket. Carry on. Up. Towards the top of the skull. Carry on. The on the obstacle left now is the ears, which we want because there's a like hairs here. There's a whole load of material on them. 
and I promise you if you go to the trouble of doing this you'll have so much material especially if you if you like tying caddis flies so I want to come up there I can feel the base of the ear so I want to remove that now there we are and carry on over towards the other ear turn it around careful not to cut through the skin feel for the ear canal again we can cut that off So there's the skull, we can discard that. And there's our mask ready for the second process. Okay, the next process is just to remove as much of this flesh as you can. Just take your time doing it because you don't want to damage the skin. So just cut it off. Okay, once you've removed as much of the flesh and the fat as you can, you can salt it a little bit if you wish. But what you can do now also is just take these bits like this if you want a nice finish to the mask. We have to remove the edges so you can do this just like that and you can trim them down if you like there's another one there I just need to get rid of that you can see it's a bit of fat on the corner there there we are then what we need is newspaper and then we lie this one down this is just to pull the moisture out push it nice and flat and get all the hair going the right way okay I've had it a few days now uh, sorry just overnight and I've changed the paper a couple of times so you can see it's begin to dry out so what we need to do now is turn that around, all the hair is lying correctly, then this side down, you want the skin side out, it's not really stretching it this, we put a couple of nails here, this will just stop it from shrinking when it dries out. That's that, you don't need any more than that. Get the ears correct. And then we place it somewhere warm, but most importantly dry. And it'll dry out. You can put a bit of salt on it if you want, just to absorb more of the water. Uh, but if you put salt on it, let it lie for about an hour, then brush it off. But I don't tend to do that anymore unless it's a real fatty skin. Okay. It's been drying now for four days and you see it's practically finished drying now. But what we can do now is we can just take a knife and anything that is left on here we can make a little cut, just scrape it up and we can get these off. Any fat or loose meat, flesh can be removed now. That done, everything removed now. Now we can draw the nails. So 
So there it is, the finished deer mask. Um, and you can see this wonderful mixture of textures, shades and colours, all from the shortest stiff uh, for the smallest comparadons and sparkle duns to much longer buoyant hair for larger patterns and all these wonderful shades from dark speckled brown to light dun to cream everything that you need really uh, a whole load of material for you to play around with that's it the deer mask thanks for watching